What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how I programmed my four months of training for my very first marathon. Alright guys, so today I kind of wanted to just run everyone through the app that I used that saved me a ton of money, a ton of time, um, and really got me through the perfect training schedule that worked for me for my first marathon. Yeah, you can hire a coach, you can do all these things, or you can kind of just wing it, but I found really quickly that once I once I set up a program, I was doing it. I was running too much, too fast. I was running too fast. So essentially, the the app that I recommend if you're a first timer, or if you don't have a GPS watch or whatever it may be, is Runkeeper. So what I'm gonna do is record my screen on my phone. I'll put it right here and kind of show you the basics of how the app works and why it might help. I thought this was a good idea because I realized it was really great for me. Um, it doesn't have ultra stuff, so I'm not using it this time around. I'm gonna be using a watch and I have a separate plan. But I was just talking to a buddy that's actually my do a race and uh, he kind of went through and did all his stats on here and it, it, it lays out the program perfectly and I thought um, it might be super helpful for all of you. Okay, so the app is Runkeeper. Um, I am not sponsored, no affiliation. Um, it is a free app um, and you can track and, um, and GPS. It does all your, your, your speeds and your GPS um, for any runs or walks. But to, to actually get a programmed run, uh, a race scheduled out, um, it, there is a fee. It's not a ton of money. I want to say it's 30 or 40 bucks uh, for the year, which is I think is a really good deal considering um, if you're not diving way in, you don't need a coach right away. So, all right, so I'm going to record my screen and then we're going to jump into that. <clears throat> all right, recording. Boom. So you're going to get into the app. You'll see it right here. Um, and essentially, you're going to, you're just going to click what race you want to do. Um, so we'll just run through it. Let's say that you want to do your first marathon. I think that training is probably the most difficult. So we'll do marathon. Um, let's say, you know what, we'll tr we're going to program it as if it was my race, uh, the date, just because that's what I have in my head. So that's June 25th, 2023. I want to run a marathon. You'll see average pace is nine minutes if you do it three hours, 56 minutes. Let's say it's your first one. We're going to be super conservative. Let's just say four and a half hours. Um, and then it, it just goes through all these questions to set you up. Um, what's going to work best for you? Which of these discs have you run in the last two years? Um, I ran a marathon. What was the fastest marathon time? Let's just say four and a half is what, what we want to do it at. Let's keep it the same. On average, how far do you run each week? Um, actually, you know what? Let's keep this as, I don't know, someone that's just starting. Ten miles. Um, I can run blank. I did five. I think five is good. It keeps you disciplined, which is the, if you've seen my other videos, I think that's the most important thing that you grow from, not just the marathon itself. So we're going to say, I don't know, let's run every day but Sunday. Oh, that's five. I did six, I should say, not five. Boom. And then essentially, this is my, this is your plan right here, all the way until the race. So it breaks it down by sections. You're gonna have preconditioning weeks. Um, then you're gonna have getting faster weeks. So if you finalize your custom plan, um, so this week, the rest of the week, it gives you your four runs and each one. So you're gonna have three slow runs and this surge, if you click on it, it breaks each one down from warm up, surge, recovery time. And then it when you hit select workout, it times all that and it even gives you an announcement in your headphones when that's supposed to be done. At the top, you can also it's on this week. You can go to overview, and each race you fit, uh, each uh, workout that you finish, it gives you a little green tally, and uh, essentially you go through all of these until you're done. It's um, it's pretty snazzy. I think it's my recommendation for sure to get a program and doing it right. And if you see this, like look at all these, how short all these runs are. They're all two miles until for a whole week and a half. I was instantly running too far, this and too fast. These, this will give you a time for what your goals are. It'll tell you all the stats that you need to run, finish and run your marathon, stay on track, be disciplined, 
and for a great deal. And most likely, most people, like I said, if you're using this app, it's because you don't have a you don't have a um, uh, a fitness like a GPS Garmin watch yet, or you don't have a coach, or you've never done a big race. But if you saw in the beginning, you can do this for a 5K. You can just use it for walks. Anyways, I think this is my biggest recommendation, especially if you don't know what you're doing, which I didn't last year. Had no idea. This was my recommendation. Um, this is what I found, and I didn't see a video like this anywhere telling me that I should do this, uh, use this app. A lot of people have used it, but uh, I think it's a really cool motivational tool to be like, boom, I finished a 15 mile run. This was the elevation, this is my pace. Um, it tells you all your splits. If you followed me last year, you saw, I post it all the time, so uh, screenshots of that app. But um, So this year we're doing the 50, and I'll have a GPS watch, and I have specific training that's not on here, as of course they don't, it doesn't time out ultras, so. But yeah, guys, that's uh, that's my recommendation if you're trying to program um, a race. It's free, um, or 30, I think it's 30 to 40 dollars. It's not expensive. Um, it's called Runkeeper. You uh, you just saw the app on the side. It's you type in Runkeeper on the App Store. First thing that's gonna come up, I think. Um, yeah, sign up for a race. Do something you didn't think you could, you could do this year. Um, I have a half marathon in April. I have a 50 uh, mile race in June. And then maybe something later in the year. Um, but I don't want to announce too many things. I want to get those done. We're going to add to uh, the, uh, the, uh, the metal rack that I got over there. So yeah, Runkeeper, highly recommend. I appreciate you all for watching. Uh, throw me a comment, subscribe, like, and uh, follow along because uh, more run videos, more tech videos, all the stuff that I'm getting for my ultra, the training, um, it's going to be fun. So I appreciate you guys and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Ah!